A Hilltop Fitness Academy is fighting back after a car slammed through the front window. The center was a safe haven for kids wanting to stay out of trouble, but it was closed for several days. A Fighting Back reporter Steve Levine is live now to tell us about the trouble it's having now to get the kids back. Steve? Bob, it's been about a month since the car slammed through the window. You can see the crime tape is still here. Despite being open, the front window still boarded up. And just a few minutes ago, I found a bunch of broken glass still left over from that accident. This fitness academy created so kids could get off the street. But since it reopened, well, a lot of kids aren't showing up. And that includes one teen who is now charged with murder. Hide your cane, explode. In the past year and a half, Derek Alexander has used his Hope Fitness Academy in the Hilltop to keep kids away from crime. An area like this, man, that, that we have a lot of problems with drugs and gangs, you know what I mean, single parent households, the, the chances of, of the kids going to violence, going to gang, going to drugs is, is very high. Derek's main message inside the academy to these kids, stay fit and stay out of trouble. Ironically, just outside his academy doors, he became a victim of crime when a teen who was drag racing lost control and slammed into the building. That has you hurt me, you know, knowing that kids did it. Security cameras last month caught two cars speeding down West Broad Street. An 18-year-old is now charged with driving his Mercedes-Benz into the fitness center. The extensive damage forced the academy to close for several days. So who's going to work the hardest? But since the center reopened, only a handful of kids have returned. Since this happened, um, it really looks like it's an abandoned building. And when people go to uh, talk about working out and everything, where well, the word is, oh, that's closed because a car ran through that. And among the kids that didn't come back, a 16-year-old who was charged with shooting his friend to death just days after the fitness center was forced to close. So I could have did more, you know. You know, like he was here every day, I wish, you know, I was more in his life, I guess, at that time, you know, could have happened. I could have changed it. One reason why this center now wants to get the word out they are back open for business. Now, over the weekend, the landlord actually did some repairs so the crew can now use this portion of the building. But as you can see behind me, the board is still, window still boarded up. Folks still think this place is closed. Workers here say they're going to do everything they can to get the community back, fight back, and be safe on the streets. Live in the Hilltop, Steve Levine, ABC 6 News.